everyone. My name is Diana. Aloha! I'm from Venezuela. Every Venezuelan migrant has a deeply <laughs> and personal story to tell about how and why they left their country. Tonight I am here not only to fight for freedom, actually for retain, like our sister said, to retain our freedom for Hawaii, the United States, but I also stand here in solidarity with those people that perhaps, whose stories might, we, might never be told. With those people that are still under and suffering under communism, socialism in places like Cuba, China, Venezuela. You know, you give a socialist an ocean and they will give you back a desert. Under the guise of the common good, under the guise of public safety and public health. They lie to us. Yep. They use fear and coercion yep. and everything collapse. Amen. You know, the events that we're witnessing right now about socioeconomic class, race, diversity, and inclu uh, inclusion, that are not really um, about cultura cultural appreciation but rather focusing in pinning class against class, race against grace, groups against groups, vaccinated against the unvaccinated. All of this reminds me of the government overreach, their dirty tactics, and control that ruined my country. Yeah. It's almost like a revert, uh, reverse psychology. The very thing they practice, they practice, they accuse you of. Power cuts, for those who don't know, the condition of my country right now is bad. They are in a humanitarian crisis. Power cuts, no running water, shortages of food and medicine, armed robberies, violence, murders, intimidation, coercion. You think we can be able to do this there? No, you know why? Because by the time my people wake up, it was too late. They are ready to control and use law enforcement against us. They weaponize the very people that are supposed to fight with us and protect us, they use them to intimidate us, kill us. My people have been killed, tortured, simply for standing for truth. 25% of the population of Venezuela have left. What are the things Americans complain about right now? Rising healthcare costs, higher taxes, a rigged electoral system? Are they the result of capitalism? Or are they the result of a big government, overreach, central planning, socialist system? Let's think for a moment. I challenge you to please look at the facts, look at the evidence, do your research. Too many conflicts of interest across the board between big pharma, politicians, news and social platform, CDC, NHA, White House, the list goes on and on. How can they get to ex be exempt from the mandate, but we don't? How can they get to use therapeutics in early treatment, but we don't? Why if the virus is so dangerous, why they didn't close the borders? Why are they leaving, letting millions of migrants untested, unvaccinated? I'll tell you why. Because they need a large group of people to be government dependent that will do what they want them to do. Amen. While they're ignoring, there are bigger issues in the border. There are bigger issues for the border to be closed, like human trafficking, drug dealing. Are they even interested in what's happening there with their children and the family? No, they don't. But they want to keep pushing their propaganda to use us against each other and to push their fear mongering. Yes, because that's what it is. And I'm sorry because in the middle of all this, too many people have died. 
and that's why I'm here tonight. Again, I understand that this situation is overwhelming, but it's extremely important that people realize and be aware of what's truly happening behind the scenes. Don't let them use you as an instrument to emotionally influence and manipulate your families and community. So ask yourself, what role am I playing as a viewer, as a consumer in supporting the people that is intending to do us harm? Would you continue to look the other way just because you haven't been restricted to go places since you have your health card? Or would you go and choose to stand with us for freedom and engage and engage, participate in doing life without compromise, without apologies, apologies. So would you stand for freedom, for justice, and for truth? This is our David and Goliath moment. Like David, the moment came where he needed to put his face into action. He took the fire storm and faced the giant. Would you, would you, that you are comfortable right now, would you stand with us tonight, today, from the day forward, and fight for justice, for truth? And like Goliath, I'm gonna close with this. Like Goliath told the giant, with, while every, like the army cave in fear, Goliath said to the giant, and that's what we say to this giant today. You came against me, you come against me with sword and a spear. But now I come, we come against you. Amen. In the name of the Lord Almighty, Amen. the God of the army of Israel, the God of the army of Hawaii, the God of the army of the United States, whom you defy. This day, he will deliver you into our hands and we will strike you down and cut off your head. Hawaii, stand. Do not cave in in fear. Stand for freedom and keep up the fight.